All right, so now comes the fun part. As you can see, I've got my six boxes filled in with a couple of different types of lines. I've got some wavy lines, um, some thicker lines, perpendicular, diagonal. This is making some kind of concentric circle or whatever. Um, whatever you guys want to do, however you want to fill them in, just fill the entire box with all kinds of different lines and some sort of design, if you will. Um, as you can see here, I got my colored pencils out, and now we get to add color. Now we talked about color a little bit, and what I want you to do is use a certain color scheme in each of the boxes. So use a different color scheme for each of them. Now there's usually four that we talked about. Um, you have the complementary, analogous, triadic, and monochromatic. Um, if you want to try some of the other ones, you can. You can use variations. So you could use complementary colors such as orange and blue, okay? And then in one box, and then in another box, you could use yellow and purple, okay? For the same reason, you could use a triadic color scheme of uh, red, yellow, and blue, or you could use orange, green, and purple. Um, all of these are uh, color schemes. So I am going to go ahead and start with an analogous design down here on this one and I think I'm gonna go with my greens and yellow so I'm gonna use yellow yellow green and then green um, mainly because they're already there for me and I have those colors in my um, box of uh, colored pencils here so I'm gonna do this all right. Now, I'm not going to make you guys watch me color the entire thing. Um, I will show you what my finished piece looks like, but what I want you guys to do is go ahead and start working on yours and fill in all those little boxes um, with color schemes of some kind. Now, remember, when we're coloring with colored pencils, it, people tend to just do a little light, barely anything. Um, I really want you to press hard, okay, and notice how much richer that color is Okay, in the areas where I am using a little more pressure and going back over it a few times. All right, trust me, it will look much better as far as the color is concerned, um, and it'll also just look more complete and more finished. All right, I'll put a little green over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and feel free to ask questions. Okay, if you need to, comment box as we're going. I'll be here the whole step of the way. And again, if at any time I'm going too fast, feel free to pause your video, get caught up, do the coloring or whatever it is that I'm asking you guys to do, and then you can uh, continue on. Now, one thing I want you guys to do is Notice that the pencil lines that I put on there, because I drew those all in with a pencil, notice how they, they're getting faded and kind of disappearing. Come back with the black, okay, colored pencil, and go back over each of those lines, and watch how this just makes those pop. So I'm actually going to retrace all those lines so that now, okay, as you can see, that's starting to really jump out at us. Okay. And yeah, you might have to go over it a couple of times. That's okay. All right. But it's going to make those lines jump out a little bit better. And if you can mess up a little bit, not the end of the world. This doesn't have to be absolutely 100% perfect. I'm not looking for perfection. I want you guys more or less just to have fun playing with the idea of lines and color. All right. I'll finish coloring these in, and then I'll get back to you in the next video.